Okay. Not we're not losing to Carlisle. No way. Even away from home. Right. This is it. The last game. Away to shitty Carlisle. The fans want Fundy. We all want Fundy. If he doesn't score in this game, that we we will be having words with fun with Fundy in real life. I think actually, I think we'll have to bring Fundy on a Richard Lewis show. Why? Are you, why? I'll be like fucking Hamza X Mahmood interviewing Luke Critical Green in that ESL show. Uh, so you have a you have a question for me, Richard? Why you a cunt? And that'll just be that. I think. Like, Right, the faith in Fundy movement is starting. Here we go. They think they can play like Gateshead. You can't. It's Ollie. One ball over the top. Fundy. What the fuck are you doing, son? What is this? Sneaking up on the keeper. What do you think you're going to do, mate? What are you going to do? He's psyching him out, mate. Ollie now. Don't even know what happened there. Don't even know who passed that ball. Alassani. Thinks he can win. Thinks he can score. Can't. Problem. Problem. Bottom of the league, beating me. Can't deal with it. A shame. Miserable. A shame. <laughs> A shame. need to just cover up get to half time inspirational team talk please don't give them two please get said don't give them two please don't give them two a shame aggressive you show me something else you fucking twats right gonna have to make some subs unfortunately can't necessarily think about performance here, but it must be about fitness. I don't even know what's happened there. That wasn't what we wanted to do at all. So shut up, football manager. Big German Engels. A tranto. Absolutely blowing out his ass. But still the best thing that ever happened to Gateshead. Best thing that happened since that fucking bridge. Osama, he's on a 6.3. Ollie on a 6.3. Got back a Yoko on that bench. You know what? Okay, I'm not seeing a lot of chances here. I'm not really seeing a lot of action. I'm not seeing any movement. I'm not seeing any movement. You've missed your tackle there, Angles. That you that is an embarrassing Sunday League five side level tackle. No problem. Story. Got past. Puts it in. Forney. Can't find his old man. Of course he can't. Fat fucking Italian loser eating the pass there. We just been styled on by the team that's bottom in the league. Boogerin has just scored an over the top fucking scissor kick volley. How can I even take this serious? How can I take it? To Look at this pass. Look at this. To this. Fuck off. Get out my sight. Nakov, you're done by the way. You're never playing again. Forney, you're not playing again. You're out of the team. Time, it's time to get aggressive, man. I've got too much fun. Fundy, you're changing it. I've never seen my man drop off like this. Fundy, to low loss. Camwa, Engels, finds Corkolo. What the fuck are you all doing? Can some cunt have a shot? A tranto. You still got 20 minutes. Get a, get a result here. Get a result. Engels, the big German. Yavol! Baki Yoko didn't get it, mate. I thought it was going in. Like, I don't even know how that didn't go in. I even screamed Yavol. I never screamed Yavol. Ah, that's ridiculous. Like, Forney loops it over the top. Fundy still hasn't won a header this season. And suddenly, it's Boogerin. And this is mental. One pass. Like, we're just so much better than you, Carla. It's fucking embarrassing. It's like watching a button masher beat you in a fucking fighting game. It's fucking so bad. Nah. Nah. 
changes are happening, lads. Yep, no rest. No rest for you cunts. Believe it. I won't end on a loss, lads. We'll go to Doncaster Rovers. Last game for real. Last game. I mean, now it's even making the fake video game news. Goalless fundy where he's gate said. I shouldn't have played him, lads. I shouldn't have listened. I shouldn't have listened. He's played 12 hours of football. We've been here before, haven't we, Victor, mate? But this is, like, there's no excuse in it now, man. You know, I think, uh, I think, I think Fundy's just going to have to be a bench player for now. I think Fundy is just in a spot. He's, he's going to have to wait, you know, he's going to have to bide his time. He's just going to have to bide his time. Like, he's just, you know, I, I'm, I think, I think the fans have got to him. I think the chanting on the terraces, I think it's all got to him. I think he's, I think his bottle's gone. I think his bottle's gone. And that's not his fault. There's a lot going on around him but it's not alien to me right i'll go to this press you know it's not alien to me that 12 hours without a goal it's not good enough i suppose the fans don't think it is we're bouncing back with a win all right guys this is it last game of the night going up against doncaster A trant orb probably does need a break. That's where all my long neck bread bin comes in. Like, Nakov's had a, had a few stinkers. Like, there's no getting away from that. So, can't play Bakayoko. He's on international duty. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, I'm pissed off with Forney. I'm watching him, but what am I going to do? Don't have a lot of good centre backs at this club. Anyway, wait, Billy Kumateo, 77. <sighs> well, I can't lose him, but I will have to sub him at some point. So who have we got? Jack Lee's on the fucking bench. Um, Trantor's on the bench. Man, this is rough. This is rough. Everyone's exhausted. Fuck it. You're 18. He's going to have to huff and puff. How much of a boost is Nabil to Arzi's absence? Oh, he's got a long neck, like. Can't deny it makes a bit... It makes things easier. He has got a neck. Great recovery. No, 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 no. Sorensen didn't touch him. No. Outrageous. Outrageous, sir. We do throw in a few fouls. Like, Gateshead do like to kick a human being. We do like to kick him. Here we are. This is it. Sakelaropoulos to Asama. Sakelaropoulos now. Kokolo. Asama doing so much work. Regular scorer now. Come. Oh, God, it's going nowhere. Oh, but Fundy's won it back with a tackle. Fundy doing that off the ball work that no one gives him credit for. Isn't that right, Brian? Absolutely right there, John. Oh, thanks for the $10, sir. <laughs> Another update on Victor Fundy's status. The shareholders are pivoting harder than Mind Waves TV and put sole faith in the coach allowing him to do whatever the fuck he wants. I'm glad, I'm glad, Seth. I'm glad that we're going to end the stream where I actually have the board's permission to not necessarily play Victor Fundy. All right, well. Time for everyone to dig in, I think, and give everything you've got. You listen keenly. That don't motivate you. Fucking hell, I'm glad there's not a war on, you fucking cunts. Fawny. Plays it long. Fundy wins that header. Ollie to Camwer. It's a little bit overplayed. Not to worry. We're just going to turn that off. Corklaw. He's in the red zone for fucking no reason. Except he's absolute trash. Absolute trash. Now we're going to bring on Engels. Only one impact sub left. Just to get rid of the trash. Fundy. It's Fundy. It's Fundy.
Okay, Sorensen gets caught out. Greaves puts it long. Header going nowhere. Bradley James coming in. Big performance. Going to get that clean sheet. 77 minutes. Points all we need. If results go our way, we can still get out of this group. 82, 83, 84. Time start. We're getting more and more in this game. Start to push it up, push it up, push it up. Last chance syndrome. Who's going to get last chance? Who's having the last chance? No one. We're into penalties. Nightmare. Right, we need to move Fundy up a little bit. Wait, why can't I move Fawny out the way? Oh, this is my pick. I'm not having Fawny take my second penalty, man. Let's just get Fundy's pen out the way. All right, pens it is. Wee! <laughs> Big Osama. We all know unerring accuracy from the penalty spot. It's in off the post. Me steps up. Great dive from Bradley James. Followed it all the way. Now Victor Fundy. People have been questioning his commitment. Question his ball. Question his accuracy. But not here on the penalty spot. That's exactly what Fundy needs. He's banged it in. The fans are ecstatic. They're jubilant. He's reconnecting with them. It's Upson. He steps up now for Doncaster. Does bury it. But remember, Gateshead. They have the advantage here. It's Ollie. The free kick specialist. The dead ball master. Steps up. Goes to the side. Rolls it home. Dubious Weetabix dive. From the fucking goalkeeper. Doesn't matter though. Gomez really feeling the pressure. Needs to get this. Okay. He's put it in. He's put it in. But Gateshead. Forney. The big fat Italian. The man who loves pasta. He's stepping it up. He bangs it home. He's an absolute machine. He can kick a ball harder any man ever seen. And now it's all on McDonald. This is it, McDonald, Bradley James from the penalty spot. Rolls it home. And now a different kind of pressure gets passed on over to the Gateshead player. It's Long Neck Sorensen. That's what the L stands for. Long Neck Sorensen has the longest neck in the league known for it steps up he's just on loan what is that the worst penalty i've ever seen long necks are outrageous your neck is a disgrace to the neck game and heaton <laughs> from swedes to danes heaton steps up bangs it in the bottom corner and suddenly it's looking grim for gateshead lee just joined this season came off the bench exhausted playing with a knock can he do this? Can he keep Gates heading in? No, he can't! And they've lost it! What a nightmare! Apparently, Fundy is uh, facing a confidence crisis. So... Listen, we've gone out of two clubs in one week. It feels bad, man. Of course it feels bad. You need to think about what we've achieved. We're in the playoffs in the league. We're going in to a crucial part of the season, not distracted by such trifles and trivialities as playing in the fucking leasing.com league. Yeah, it hurts today. It hurts today. But if we get to the playoffs, and God knows if we get to the first division, imagine. But you're right. We'll do one more, guys. One more. One more. I'm with you. I, I, I You know, that one stings. 100%. Stevenage, 100% last game. 100%. What's on my mind, eh, Curry? Let me tell you. 
you aren't starting enough. And I think you're an influential member of the locker room. And I'm going to give you some playing time. Because I fucking love you, buddy. We've been through too much, Mitchell, mate. Your stats, people don't know the real you. You're in next game. Fuck Victor Fundy. I've had enough. 100% the last game against Stevenage, though. Right? Gateshead president trashes takeover rumors. This is also how I'm living, by the way. Look at this. Camwa injured. Oh, he's out for fucking up to seven weeks. What a nightmare. So now we lost Bobby Camwa. Not going to lie, that's really bad. But it does give us an opportunity at least to bring long neck fucking Sorensen into the mix. But Cunt can't take a penalty, so tough times. Tough times. Guys, we started playing football manager at 8.30. It's 12.40 at night and Fundy hasn't scored. That's the real headline here. Like, that's ridiculous. Enough's enough. Uh, right, this is it. Stevenage. Oh, Lord. I just feel like Bakayoko, man. I feel like he's coming into some, like, mad form. I think he's going to get goals. Like, I think he scores this game. Oh, shit. I left Sakurel. That fucking sack of shit the loss on, on, on the fucking field. Not a big deal. It's fine. I'll bring Jack on in a sec. Wins a header. Sorensen pulls it up. Bakayoko coming back, working it to Oli. Oli knows that he's not going to get a shot in. Finds Kokolo to Atranto. Little Mozart works it through to Bakayoko. Fine. Starting slow. Starting slow. Just check more thoroughly. Oh, God. Now it's go three. Oh, no. Great tackle. Atranto, over the top. This is the one. The Salmon. Go on. Just ping it. Look at this. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. What are you going to do, son? The absolute fucking legend. Baki Yoko. Big. Strong. Somehow playing the through ball. The Salmon's through. A Fundy esque finish from the Moroccan. Should be 2 2 0 up. Not to worry, it's all gates at the moment. Corkle over the top to Big Amadou back at your core. And look at the pop from the fans. Three goals. We're only 16 minutes in. Gateshead are on for a route. Chicken Digby Caesar puts it in midfield, loses the ball. Ollie, somehow, incredible through ball at the back of your core. He'll just fucking try and roll it in for no reason from 20 yards. But it's okay. Wins a corner. This is where he's going to dominate. Ollie. Over the top, looking for that big shiny head. But Alessandra trying to change that. And somehow, they've given away a penalty. Kokolo, the wretched creature that he is, has given him a penalty away back into this game. There is no VAR at this level, but that's what Bradley James does. That's why he was brought back in this team. Bleeds for the cause. And Gateshead go in, keeping that clean sheet. Turns out, actually, you know, I know that I... I mean, I still like Victor Fundy, obviously. But Osama is out of this fucking world. Back of your core. He's holding off three defenders. This guy's a tank. 60 minutes. Thinking about subs here at Gateshead. Who's it going to be? Well, it's not going to be this guy. Osama. Point blank range. With an absolute bullet header. We'll bring Curry on. And we'll take Kokolo off. Because that is a nightmare waiting to happen. Lassa Sorensen there. 
establishing himself in the team. Sikelaropoulos now. Asama on a hat-trick, remember. Sikelaropoulos puts it in. Doesn't have the big man in there anymore, but Sorensen, the long neck maestro, he's going to give the ball away. Is he going to win it back? No, he's not. Turns out that it's going to be Steven attack, or is he going to win that ball back? It's loose. It's a Tranto, the little maestro. He doesn't even think about it. It is going to be the hat-trick for Asama. His first hat-trick in his career. This game can't end quick enough for Steven, but still they go forward. Giorgio, he finds Abels. It doesn't matter, Bradley James. It doesn't matter how late into the game it is. Bradley James is a big shot stopper. And he is going to get a clean sheet. And what a welcome addition he's been to the team. The ref, he looks at his watch once, twice. It's over. Gateshead, 4-0. Asama with a hat trick. And who is Victor Fundy? Standing ovation for Asama. Well, lads, look at that. F literally, I don't know if you can see the achievement just popped up. I've never scored a hat trick with anyone. In in uh, in football manager, that is Asama's first career hat trick, his first for Gateshead, and now we are in automatic promotion spots because of him. We're up to third. I don't even know how that's possible. I don't even know how that's possible. There you go, contract's been offered to Asama, and that, my friend, is the perfect place to end the stream. Boom.